entire creation, the entire dunya, the entire world is in service for this one morsel to come inside our mouth. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim My dear respected brothers and sisters, honorable listeners In today's day and age we have many people complaining And every single person is complaining regarding some issue or another There's a verse in the Quran which I would like to explain and recite before you today Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in the Quran بَعْدَعُوذِ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا إِنَّ الْإِنسَانِ لَظَلُومٌ كَفَّارٌ Allah Almighty says, If you were to count the blessings of Allah, you will not be able to count them. Indeed, a human being is unjust and ungrateful. Many times we recite this verse, we hear this verse, but we don't contemplate on the fact that Allah Almighty hasn't used the plural, the blessings, He has used the mufrat, the singular. That if you, if you were to count the blessing, one blessing of Allah, even then you cannot comprehend, contemplate and count this blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Fakhruddin Razi rahimahullah has given a beautiful example inside his tafsir, a tafsir al-kabir. He has mentioned that for example a person, he takes a morsel of food. Now if we contemplate on the situations and the matters that occurred upon this morsel before eating it and after eating it, we will come to a conclusion that indeed we can't even thank one blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, this morsel of bread or this morsel of chapati, this morsel at one time it was a seed in the hand of a farmer. He had put this seed inside the ground. He had to make an effort. The rain had to be in the right time, right season. The sun, the moon, the wind, all of these things were functioning. And all of these things were working for the service and for the khidma of this one mosque. The farmer had to come every single day to look and to supervise, to guard the crops, the field. A time came when this crop had grown and then it was time for the harvest, it was time to cut this crop. Now the iron, the steel or the tool that was used, that tool, that steel, that iron that was made, was made inside a factory. Other tools were used to make that steel, to make that instrument, to make that tool. So how many stages and how many efforts were need to, to be made for this one morsel to come in our hands? And after this, this wheat, this grain goes to the factory, it is cleaned, it is taken to the shops, to the markets, then it is sold, then a family member, he goes to the shop, he pays for this food, for this wheat, he comes home, the mother or the sister, she makes the chapati, she makes the bread, fire is used, gas is used, water is used. So if we think this one morsel, the entire creation, the entire dunya, the entire world is in service for this one morsel to come inside our mouth. After we put this morsel inside our mouth, the teeth that are used, the mouth that is used, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the digestive system that He has given us, all of these body parts are used, it turns into energy, some turns into waste. Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar. The entire world, the entire dunya it is at service for this one morsel. And this, this young boy, this young girl, he takes this morsel without even remembering Allah and without even saying Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. So my brothers and sisters, today in the environment that we are living in, Allahu Akbar, especially in this country, in England, Allah has given us not one morsel, He has given us so much, so much food. So much drink. There are millions of Muslims that don't have clothes to wear. There are millions of Muslims that don't have clean water to drink. There are millions of Muslims that don't have shelter. We have all these things. The way to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for these things is that we be grateful from our heart and from our tongue. And by doing this, inshaAllah, Allah will increase our blessings. Allah will increase our ni'mah. Like Allah has mentioned, If you show gratitude 
to Allah, if you be thankful to Allah, Allah says, I will most definitely increase your blessings. So in an environment like this, we should we shouldn't complain, we should refrain from complaining and try our best that every step and every time we are those who are grateful to Allah, who are thankful to Allah. Wa akhru da'wana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.